parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the bus told me. Uh, please, uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Sì. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Sì. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro cassaforte. Open safe. Christ. Ok. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. View up here. A volte questo paese è stupendo. Ecco, entriamo da lì. I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno i laberinti. I guess.
wish I could have a night off. That's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear. Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Sono qui, Tommy! Guy's a pain in the ass. Forza! Vieni! Come there! Sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? C'è un'entrata. Open. Kick. What kind of luck picker are you? Look for a dipinto. Uh, what? But, um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio. Uh, I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting. Si, si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. What you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Vai dietro, dietro. They gotta be upstairs. The safe's in his study. Yeah. So 
Salvatore, stay back. I'll deal with him. Taking cover. Gotcha. First time. Forza! Andiamo ce n'è! Presto! Er semina gli sfiri! I know! Whatever you're saying, I know! Police? in questo paese è davvero ostinata All cars pursuit is called off abandoned search ah. ah, grazie a Dio Salvatore where do I take you now home yeah yeah we're home uh, six, uh, and uh, Maple. Okay, let's go. Devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' di italiano per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh. Sure. Good night. Uh, night. This is 
the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Wonderful doing the boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shit yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you's put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an airing. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell or Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of the renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then... Then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, uh, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You're actually serious. Fellas, knock it off. Christ.
do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. This seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Polly! Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy! Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> No, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Gates took a bullet. This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. Got more of them. Getting cover. Make us back up. Get through this! 
We gotta put it out. Look for extinguishers or something. I see fire sprinklers up on the ceiling. We need to turn them on. There's gotta be a valve to turn someplace. Is there a way through this fence? Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. See that? I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit him where it hurts! Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. Though tonight, 
Me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. It's like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet men. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Waking up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. You know, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was the missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Go of his face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. So how's business, Tommy? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened, happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it.
Must be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. That's a better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Taste the cassandra, Tom. Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a. Don't so yeti. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent, bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, uh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? Uh, see, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. And to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, Benny, Benny, Benny. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. Ah, <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out!
We aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. And his sons will be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dodo by his dope, and my foot through his face. Know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take a guy in, you give him a place in your family, you give him respect, and this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. Jesus Christ, someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off? You ever see me whack a guy, Tom? It don't happen much or you know I'm gonna make it special. Let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. Uh, 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 
You goddamn dirty grifter! You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Ah! Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! They're going to kill me! Hey, we ain't finished with you! Tommy, please! I can explain! Think about this, Tom! Please! Let me talk to the boss! I can explain everything! Uh, Tommy, you gotta know! Morello, he was gonna kill Mom! I had to do it! I had to! They made me do it, Tommy! Please! I can explain! Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Now we're sure. Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. That's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. That all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Trying to have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the yeah, Iron must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. I can't even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell the boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just, uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello. Hey. You need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Tom. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet.
Hey, it true the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. OK. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. But Vivini told me I gotta stay around the bar for my own sister's safety. Gotta get, get, get a new cook a car for the Don pinched from someplace, too. He only will wants the best. I'll only t -t tell you, but I'm gonna miss Carlo. He ch -ch treated me okay and will look after the car even better. Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? Taylor Hicks! You got an invite, too? You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. Sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. This Thanks. I'll go find him.
know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Bali's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. If the outfit don't get messed up, keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. It was hilarious. That's not Listen, true. Listen, shipmate, go someplace else. Can't believe I got an invite. Drinks hey, guests only. Hey, go scrub your decks. This is off limits. Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. gonna do about it well I'm gonna give you a beat for starters <laughs> Jesus Yeah. 
Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have another for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh?
Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and can tax everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yeah, just don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gut. If there's one thing he's got, it's gut. He'd see all of Little Italy burn. To the ground. Whatever motor you wanted to, Tom. Sure. You good? K kinda. Could have done without S -S Sam and Vinny wrecking P -P Paulie's motor. Guy's been acting like his P -P balls are in a vice. G good luck with who's ever the doorstep you're gonna piss on today, Tom. <laughs> News. 
desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and a half are simply too powerful, too deep-rooted to simply be swept away. The more established of these organizations are consolidating their power. The competition between them continues to bring violence and bloodshed into the public square. We saw this in Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci family are now, in many cases, highly sophisticated, well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cop is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to exploit police and lawmakers. That sadly doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants earn more than most, and did so even at the height of the Depression. So that, frankly, does not wash. Plenty of people, far worse off, live without sin. As we have seen in Lost Heaven, standing up to the mob can be a dangerous game. Suspected mob hits carried out against officials in a number of American cities attest to that. What are our state and federal governments doing to ease public concerns? What can we expect from J. Edgar Hoover and his BOI, now renamed the Federal Bureau of Investigations? Are we truly powerless in the face of such callous disregard for human life? We shall let you know if we ever receive answers to these questions. This concludes our special report. A public service radio station for the people of Lost Heaven. This is WLH 570. <laughs> Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? Supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, God. Tommy, what's going on? Wake up, wake up, wake up. 
Vinny. Uh, it all went bad. Hey, pull it together, Tom. Whatever happened, happened. There's nothing you can do about it now. Sergio's luck is running out. Wait. What are, you, what are you talking about? Sam and Paulie have found him. He's in Georgie's restaurant across town. You need to get over there fast. Okay. Now, for a news report. And the biggest story of the day is that the chief of police admits his men have yet to apprehend any suspects in the brazen public assassination of city councilor Roberto Gilotti. Gilotti was gunned down while giving a speech at his own birthday party aboard the paddle steamer Lost Heaven Queen. According to eyewitness reports, the assassin made a daring escape by motorboat, aided by a number of associates all under the cover of a lavish fireworks display. The public nature of the slaying, as well as the degree of professionalism with which it was carried out, have led some to speculate that Gilati was the latest public servant to become a victim of the epidemic of mob violence currently assailing the city. The killing marks another chapter in the tragic story of the Gilati family. Only three years ago, the counselor's son, Billy, was murdered in an act of senseless, unprovoked violence. His killers were never brought to justice. The chief of police insists that several avenues of investigation are still being explored to ensure justice does not escape the family once again. But without results, this journalist simply has to wonder. What exactly can stem the tide of violence that has been unleashed on Lost Heaven? We'll bring you more on the story as we get it. Thank you for listening. Tom, you okay? Yeah, this is the car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! before that idiot gets himself killed!
sight. It's doing kill that motherfucker. Get every guy we got down here now. He's coming this way. Cover.
Coming this way! you for? He's tearing the docks apart! Hey, hey! Over here!
kill me, my brother will destroy everything you know. Come on. You just winged me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? <laughs> what did I tell you? No one can touch me. You ain't that lucky, bastard. Wait. No! After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed, and not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public, in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. You take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. <laughs> 